The way I look at my job is really like a small piece in, in, in a big cog that really moves the wheel. Uh, as far as ATS, uh, I basically just help manage all of the controllers that assist the battalion commander with uh, deconflicting all, all the aircraft in this area to basically help move all the, uh, the troops uh, for this upcoming mission uh, basically to the Sawaki Gap. Uh, so with this being uh, an extreme austere environment and we have a FARP set up here, the, uh, the MOTS here basically allows us to move, safely move aircraft in and out and around this local area with a total deconfliction uh, as far as the pilots are concerned. Uh, yes, uh, ATC uh, w was really one of those things that kind of uh, seemed cool to do. Uh, so I did a little research and uh, had several choices when I came in the Army, and uh, ATC was just an easy choice. Um, I like the basically the, the, the stress that comes with the job and also the satisfaction of being able to kind of use your tech to technical and tactical uh, experience to basically help push forth, you know, our small part of, of every mission that comes down. Nice. Basically, uh, it's, it's, the key is just remaining fluid, uh, not allowing any lull or uh, uptick to basically take you off of your train of thought and uh, your ability to analyze and prioritize uh, things that are happening around you. So you have to be able to communicate basically by listening to one thing and actually um, answering another uh, simultaneously in order for all of the controllers inside of the control unit to be able to basically control all of the airspace uh, in the area. So sometimes you could be listening to an aircraft, answering another controller, and also making sure that what's going on with another aircraft you're transcribing down uh, for our record keeping.